In this lesson, we're going to be going through 9.6 converting metric units. The lesson objectives are to learn to convert from a larger metric unit to a smaller unit and to convert from a smaller metric unit to a larger unit. So to begin, we're going to be taking a look at some conversion factors that are going to be very helpful for us to solve our problems today in this lesson. So one meter is equal to 100 centimeters, one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters, one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters, and one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. And so we're going to be using these conversion factors and making some connections to what we've already learned in 9.2 and 9.4 with multiplying and dividing decimals by tens, hundreds, and thousands. And so once you understand using the conversion factors and the pattern that's involved with the examples that we're going to be going through, then you'll be able to apply it to more metric units. One important pattern to note before we start is that if you are going from a larger metric unit to a smaller unit, you're going to be multiplying. And when you're moving from a smaller metric unit to a larger unit, you're going to be dividing. For our first examples, we're going to be converting between centimeters and meters. So remember the conversion factor is 1 meter equals 100 centimeters. So for our first example, we have 1 and 6 hundredths meters, and we have to figure out how many centimeters that's equal to. So when we're going from meters to centimeters, we're going to be multiplying by 100. So we have 1 and 6 hundredths meters. We multiply that by 100, and remember when you multiply by 100, you're moving your decimal point two places to the right. So let's go ahead and move our decimal point over one, two places, and that tells us that one and six hundredths meters is equal to 106 centimeters. And then next, we're going to look at going from centimeters to meters, which is the opposite. So instead of multiplying by 100, we're going to be dividing by 100 to go from centimeters to meters. So we're going to be taking 7 and 2 tenths centimeters and dividing that by 100. So remember, when we divide by 100, we're going to be taking our decimal point and moving it two places to the left. So we're going to go one place two place, put our decimal point, and then fill that gap in the new place with a zero. So seven and two tenths centimeters is equal to 72 thousandths meters. Next, we're gonna be converting meters to meters and centimeters. So for our first example, we have nine and three tenths meters. We can think of that as nine meters plus three-tenths meters to break it apart. So we know that we're going to have nine meters, and then now we just need to take a look at our three-tenths meters and figure out how many centimeters that is equal to. Remember when you're going from meters to centimeters, you're going to be multiplying the number of meters by 100. So we'll take our three-tenths, Multiply that by 100. So we're going to move our decimal point two places to the right. So let's go one place, two place, put our decimal point, and then add a zero in the place that we just added. And so we'll see that 3 tenths meters is equal to 30 centimeters. So now we're going to add that those 30 centimeters to our final answer and have answer of 9 meters 30 centimeters. Next let's take a look at going from a meters and centimeters to only meters. So when we take a look at what we're given 192 meters 12 centimeters, the 192 meters will stay a whole number part of our answer and the 12 centimeters we're going to be converting to a decimal part of our answer in meters. So what we'll have to take a look at is how many meters is 12 centimeters equal to. And remember, when you go from centimeters to meters, you're going to be dividing by 100. So let's take 12 
and divide by 100. So we'll take our decimal point and move it two places to the left. And when we do that, we get 12 hundredths meters. So we're going to add 12 hundredths to the 192 whole meters that we have. And so when we put that together, we have 192 and 12 hundredths meters as our final answer. Next, we're going to be converting between meters and kilometers. So remember, the conversion factor is 1 kilometer equals 1,000 meters. So first, let's look at going from kilometers to meters. So when you're going from kilometers to meters, you're going to be multiplying by 1,000. So we're going to be taking 71 and 2 tenths and multiplying that by 1,000. And remember, when you multiply by 1,000, you're moving your decimal point three places to the right. So we're going to go one, two, three, and then we're going to add in zeros to the places that we added to our number. So our final answer would be 71,200 meters. Next we're going to be going from meters to kilometers. So we're going to be doing the opposite. So instead of multiplying by 1,000, this time we're going to be dividing by 1,000. So we're taking 6 and dividing by 1,000, and so we're going to move our decimal point three places to the left. So we have a whole number. Our decimal point would go there, and we're going to go 1, 2, 3 places to the left, and then we're going to add in our zeros to the places that we added. So 6 meters is equal to 6 thousandths kilometers. Next, we'll be converting between kilograms and grams. So remember, 1 kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. So first, we'll go from kilograms to grams. And so when you go from kilograms to grams, you need to multiply by 1,000. So we're going to take our 6 thousandths kilograms and we're going to multiply that by 1,000. And when you multiply it by 1,000, all you have to do is move your decimal point three places to the right. So we're going to go one, two, three, and that means that 6 thousandths kilograms is equal to 6 grams. Now we're going to go the opposite from grams to kilograms. So again, hopefully you're starting to understand the pattern, instead of multiplying by 1,000, you're going to be dividing by 1,000 when you're going from a smaller unit to a larger unit. So let's go ahead and move our decimal point three places to the left. And then let's add in our zeros into the places that we created in our number. So our final answer would be equal to 2 thousandths kilograms. And now let's look at converting between liters and milliliters. So remember, when you're going from a larger unit to a smaller unit, you're going to be multiplying by whatever the conversion factor is. So in this case, one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. So we're going to be taking our amount of liters, multiplying that by 1,000 to figure out how many milliliters that's equal to. So we're going to move our decimal point three places to the right. And then we need to add in a zero to the place we created. And two and nine hundredth liters is equal to 2,090 milliliters. And then let's look at going from milliliters to liters. So again, when you're going from a smaller unit to a larger unit, you're going to be dividing by the conversion factor. So in this case, we're going to be taking our 8,500 milliliters and dividing that by 1,000. So we will move our decimal point 
three places to the left, one, two, three, and that tells us that it is equal to eight and a half liters. In your workbook, there are going to be some other examples that you have to work through that involve conversions such as converting from kilometers to kilometers and meters, or going from kilograms to kilograms and grams, and you will be able to apply the same process and pattern that we've used on the previous examples. So if you need some help on those problems, you can go back and watch the examples where we looked at going from meters to meters and centimeters and meters and centimeters to meters to help you.